Good day everyone, Jason Haynes here once again. QPL Rural, right here in Narendra, Tamora and Leighton with another look around the river owner at what's been happening in rural property with another edition of the Haynes Report. Well, it's certainly been a good week. Uh, the temperature's come off a little bit. Good to see some rain again over the last weekend. Let's hope it's a good start of things to come. There are a few producers a bit further north making a, an attempt at some early oats or grazing wheat or grazing canola. So uh, let's hope there's a bit of follow-up there and those crops can get established and we do get a good start to the year. In rural property this week across the region, well, there's certainly been some big moves, uh, particularly in that corporate world. The Canadian takeover of Webster by PSP is now finalised, so that job's been approved and finished and ticked off. Now, Webster obviously own a number of properties um, ranging from grazing right through to cotton and uh, permanent plantings and walnuts right here in the Riverina, so obviously a, a big local landholder. Also this week, RFM has uh, won their court case about uh, against Benitez Research. They're a Texan-based group that at the uh, end of the financial period of 2018 basically alleged that RFM's assets were much lower than what they'd forecast or what they'd actually stated on their prospectus. As you expect at the time, RFM's share price dropped by some 50% and uh, legal action ensued. RFM, as I said, has won their court case. Now, RFM are a significant player in our area. They've got a number of assets, including permanent plantings, grazing operations, and a number of poultry operations, and an association with JBS. So great to see a good outcome there for RFM. Now, in property sold over at Kudamandra there, Gilgal, coming in at 1,553 hectares, has been purchased by Queensland-based Palgrove. Now, this ends 150 years in the Ward family there. It's a 34 to 38,000 DSE property over at Cootamundra with a reported price tag of around $30 million. This is exceptional country and is likely to remain under beef production. In our own listings here, I'd like to go back over Mundara. It's a great little 820-acre block, not far from Narendra, not far from Uroli, uh, Leeton there. It's a good add-on block for somebody. Pretty secure, though. It's got two bores on it, uh, including a uh, Zone 3 irrigation bore that runs the bulk of the property, and a second bore there that's currently being used for stock and domestic off a solar pump. Now, Mandara comes with a good little three-stand shearing shed there, some on-site accommodation. It has been set up with a series of feedlot pens for finishing lambs off, and you'd have to say it's quite well set up for producing forage or for backgrounding stock and finishing them here, making great little inside property there, and at 820 acres, it's not going to break the bank either. As I said, pretty close to town, not far from the Sturt Highway, easy access into Wagga. This is a great little block there, great finishing block, and perfect for somebody who's got that lamb enterprise there and just wants to top those lambs up and get them going before they slip them into Woggy Yards. The vendor's pretty keen to make a deal here, and there might be a good opportunity for you to step in and secure this property right in time to commence your 2020 season. This red meat job's going to be very strong this year, and this could be a great little money-making exercise. The other property I will mention quickly here is Wallah. It's down at Kerrang and a very, very well-watered property here. It's got a a 50-unit road tree on it, suitable for milking that sort of 400 to 450 cows. Coming in at 575 acres, there's a 250-meg Katunga deep lead bore there. There's Goulburn Murray um, irrigation access there, so you're right in that sort of zone 6 Goulburn Murray access. And it does have a drainage license of some 500 megalitres right off the back of the property and 150-meg storage. Now, if you're all about secure pasture production, you can't go far past Willar. It's got very good infrastructure with the dairy and a number of the outlets being only five years old. And as I said, with the milk price creeping up, if you're all about pasture and secure pasture production in northeast Victoria, you need, need no, go no further than Willar. Now for the shout out, I do have a number of people looking for lease country at the moment. Anything down south, be it irrigated or dry land, please give me a call. There's some very good lease rates going out there at the moment and I'm very happy to set anyone up with a deal there. So please, if you're considering leasing your country out, we've got people ready and waiting to step into it. Now, as always, if you'd like any more information on any one of our properties here today, please give me a call, 0488 594 450. I look forward to catching up with everyone again next week. Cheers.